thank you very much. Three very exciting companies. Uh, just to remind everybody, these are the finalists from a very large list. So three very strong companies and uh, very exciting to hear them present. We are releasing next week, this is the top last one, called Codio Annotations. And this is something that we built specifically for the education sector. So it is something that lets anybody build rich interactive tutorials, um, which can then be put out into the community. And these are the, the remaining steps in our education program. So we're coming out shortly with a whole bunch of extra features for this. Then we're going to be releasing what we call the EduCode license. So this is like an open source license for these tutorials, so people can, are encouraged to commit all of this stuff to be copied, used, improved. So uh, the GitHub project, that's the place where all this stuff would actually be put. So it's a publicly accessible area where all of these tutorials can be put into the community. It's not owned by us, it's just to a degree curated by us. And we want the community to use whatever tools they like, including Codeo annotations. And in, uh, teach coding to a wider audience without government interference. Um, we'll also be adding creation features into the product so people can, once they've built tutorials, they can allocate them into certain categories, people can search, find them, uh, comment on them, vote on them. And then finally we're interviewing uh, as many of the great and good as we can find, video interviews, which again we'll be putting up, making, uh, providing inspiration for students. Um, we're a, a team, a uh, small team, but we're spread out, we're pretty distributed, we're predominantly in the UK, but we have a, a bunch of guys in Russia, in Germany, and in Norway. The idea is not new. Lastminute.com came up with that idea 14 years ago, pivoted along the way, and now Brent Huberman is one of our advisors as well, because when he saw white plant, he said, this is what Lastminute.com was meant to be but the time was not right. Now the time is right, the infrastructure is in place, enough people have smartphones, enough people are willing to transact through the smartphone. Now the market is ready. The key to success here is supply, demand, technology, and operations. If you get one of those four wrong, the business model falls apart. Therefore, a number of starters have tried and failed along the way, and we so far have been succeeding purely because of the power of our team so far. And that becomes a differentiator. Beautiful UI and UX, which is a differentiator in the mobile, with a very robust business model executed well, is a differentiator. We have a, a nice little bit of uh, technology, which we, for the time being, being calling the widget, which allows a blogger to go into our catalog, select an item that they're particularly interested in, maybe writing an article about. Uh, we uh, ask them the name of their blog, they give us that information, and we give them a snippet of the code. With that code, they paste that into their blog, and it immediately creates a micro store. And this is an example of one that's just, just dropping down from the, the page. You can close that back down again. It's a very simple little checkout. The bloggers love it because it's not taking their readers anywhere else, <laughs> keeping them on the site. And invariably, the consumer's going to love it too because it's very easy to use, they feel safe, check out products arriving, no problem. And because we're dealing right up the food chain with the manufacturer, with the brand, the price is going to be pretty competitive too. So all in all for the brands, it's a pretty compelling story. It becomes even more compelling when we tell them that to set it up will cost them nothing. We take a little commission on every transaction that happens right across the board. And because we're fully automated, we're able to give them a far better, invariably I should say, a far better return than their traditional route to market. So now I'd like to ask the jury to confer, to gather your heads and discuss this amongst yourselves. As I mentioned, there's also a shortlist on the, the Internet World website, which consists of 10 companies, which has been handpicked by the 8 VCs that we talked about in the beginning. We do have a winner, and that company is called Give As You Live. I work at uh, Firefly, we're Give As You Live's PR agency. They couldn't quite be here today, but um, we're really chuffed about this, because um, Give As You Live is, is such a fantastic concept. Um, fundamentally, it takes uh, affiliate marketing spend and redirects it to um, a charity of the user's choice. So we work with 2,300 retailers. They each take a percentage of an online spend and they redirect it to any registered charity in the UK. Um, our technology has raised £3 billion pounds of charity so far, but it's got the potential to raise so much more. Um, we have 26,000 uh, regular shoppers and uh, we ask them to vote for us. So that's probably why we, uh, we managed to do so well. Please check us out, uh, givesyoulive.com. 
um, sign up, it's obviously totally free. Um, you don't have to spend anything, it's a percentage of the spend, uh, and it goes to charity. And I personally raised £110, so uh, it's pretty cool. There you go. Thank you. So, I understand the jury has now decided who the winner should be. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the chairman of the jury up here to give a brief nomination uh, to the runner-ups as well as the finalists. So please welcome back up on stage, Paul from Indeed. So the two runners-up are Lazook and Kodio, so that means you know who the winner is. But just to say a few words about uh, Lazook and Kodio, I think uh, Lazook, a tremendous opportunity to improve the efficiency of distribution and, and I love the publisher network, I think that's very exciting, uh, tremendous potential. And uh, Codio, the educational objective, fantastic, you know, there's such a huge need for uh, encouraging developers and uh, getting people down that track uh, in the educational environment. So good luck uh, to, to, to both of those companies, uh, very tough decision, uh, but we uh, did uh, reach a consensus uh, that Yplan is the is the winner. A very clean, simple model, 100% mobile, tremendous uh, traction in a short period of time. And uh, so, congratulations uh, to this year's winner. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. So, while that's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much all for coming along to listen to the finalists and again IBM and Salesforce thanks for your support in this and obviously for Paul taking his time out this day to announce the winner. So uh, again, thanks for coming along and hope to see you next year with your companies in the final. Thank you.